Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the main pleasure of organic compounds. First, what is alcohol? Alcohol, what is alcohol? Alcohol, well, alcohol is the things you drink. Well, actually, alcohol is an organic compound. I have one or more hydroxy group. Hydroxy group is OH. But don't confuse with alcohol. All the hydroxy group with hydro hydroxide ion. Hydroxy group is an alcohol that is covalent bound to a carbon atom, but that it is in a solution. It's an ion just for the running solution. And formula of alcohol is always CMSUM plus one and then OH. Okay. And general formula of alcohol. It's R and then your OH. So R means chance of carbon at the test, okay? And properties of alcohol. So for example, simple alcohol is soluble. Like a methanol propanol, because that methanol, ethanol propanol. So okay, so because I have a hydrogen band, so it's dissolvable in water. As uh, so carbon increase, the uh, solubility decrease. So when carbon is has more than four, it is not soluble in water. Properties of alcohol. So hydrogen, so they have a hydrogen band, so they make a, it's a relatively high boiling point to break low hydrogen band. Any more energy to break a bound, relatively high. Okay, alcohol nomenclature. Hydroxy group. Okay, so first, how do you name it? First, there's numbers. So this is a propanol, but different propanols. Like the hydroxy group is linked to different. So we if it's like this, the OH is closer to the right side. So we count it from the right to the left. So one, two, three. So this is a two propanol. How to know it's pro? A butyl. Actually, it's a two butanol. Okay. So how to know it's pro? Because it's four carbon, four means but. So it's called a butane. First, we know when it's a butane. When you think it's a alkane, so it's a butane. And then we add ol, so it becomes a butanol, and it's called a two butanol. And it's called a one comma two ethyl. Because di means two. Okay. Alcohol domain culture. This one is called a cyclohexanol because it's a cyclo. Circle means cyclo. It is one and a four carbon, so one, three, propendyl. What is acid? Well, what is acid? It has also a carboxy group with a COOH. So it looks like this. One C is attached to one OH and another is double bound to an O. Okay, so a hydroxy group. What is this? And formulas of acid. I say I'm CNH2 plus one, but not OH now. It's a COOH, which is their carboxy group, okay, which is their functional group. So it's a general form also is R and linked to a COH. This is called a methanoic acid. This is called a butanoic. So it's at a O O I C and then an acid. So it's called butane. Oic, a butanoic acid. So first, something you have to know that the CnH2m plus one and COH. So the CM the M contain the COH, less carbon. Okay. So like the CnH2m plus one. The C is in the N, this one, okay? So first, let's see something. This called a carboxylic acid, those, okay? They are weak acid in solution, and yes. 
So first, let me see. It is soap and water. Okay. So it has a negative. So we can see because it is an acid. So you need to have um, it's positive this. But how to get it? So we know there's an H, right? O H. So if you get out of the O H, then this is an basic thing. So we need a H to become a positive thing. So it's just release a hydrogen ion. Pass off acid. It's so warm water because it goes back. Hydrogen. Okay. Therefore, hydrogen. So they have a relatively high boiling point. As in the culture, this one, this one is called uh, HCOH, what is called methanoic acid, it has a common name, what is called formic acid, and it's called ethanoic acid, which is a common name, what is called acetic acid. Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho. He he he. Nomenclature, acid nomenclature. Uh, well, acid is nomenclature. So, how huh, first, we can it's called the hydroxide benzoic acid. So, the two, how to get the two? Most people said how to get two. There's a rule. This is the OH, so another side is one. Or the OH, so it's one. So, one, so you can see OH is two. So, it's two hydroxy, which is the OH, means the so in the second carbon, the hydroxy group, so it's a two hydroxy, and this is a benzene, this without the COH, only this hexane, okay, like this is a called benzene, so called benzonic acid, this is called, so why it is not a benzonic thing, because that they don't have a resonance, which is two bonds, which just switch, okay, around. So, which only causes a cyclohexane carboxy acid. What is that for? That for the compound which has two carbon groups. So, first, what is this? So, actually, an uh, effort has, uh, has, has a functional group called O, is in the middle. So, it's an R and then to an O and not R plum. So, the so the R is different, so because the two R can be different or same. So if the two R is same, the formula is CMS two N plus one, and then okay, and then uh, parenthesis two, that means times two, and then the O. So properties of the effort. Effort is not very soluble in water. Because it is not really polar, or uh, polar things, okay, it can form a hydrogen bond, so yes, so the bond is relatively low. Most, some of them are gases. You know, some of them are gases in room temperature. Effort nomenclature. So like this one is called a diethyl because there's two, this is A and this is A, so it's called two, diethyl ether, and this is called isopropyl methyl ether. So, you can see what we first call the propyl and then the methyl. So, propyl and methyl, the pro is the free carbon, one, two, three, so we call the bigger number first, and then the methyl, which there's only one carbon right here, methyl ether. Okay, like this. What is the ester? What is the ester? Ester is that you put the acid and the alcohol together and become an ester. Formula is C M H two M plus one C O C M H two M plus one. So this is C O in the middle. Properties of ester have very low boiling point, relatively very low boiling point. Okay, so like the acid. The carboxylic acid. Mm. Hey, what happened? So it. So we know it comes from acid, right? The acid can make it. 
So this acid has a boiling point. This uh, kind of acid has 164, and this one only has 777.1. So boiling point is relatively a lower, okay. And we have a very so it's not it's soluble water, but it's not really soluble because when the carbon chains get very long, it's not soluble. Esters no main electrons. So alkyl group. So first is okay. So how do you know it? So first let me see this one. So first we know we think that the okay the alcohol is an al alkyl group and it's an alkyl group and then the acid turn the acid we know this is methanoic ethanoic in the oic um, become oate become methan oate meth methanoate okay so first we got if like alcohol group have to say the first so it's called uh al al what alcohol and what oate like for example like see this one is um so how to know which side is methyl uh, which side is alcohol? Which side is acid? It is very, 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 very simple. It's very simple to know it. So how to know it? So first, let's see. You can see a COO right here. Yes. So you can see this O. So let's see. So O is the left side. Then this side will be alcohol. And another side will just be the uh, acid. So it's called the ethyl because it's two carbon. It's an ethyl methanoid because the CO content in the C called the methanoate. So another this one. Okay, so it's only one carbon, so it's called the uh, methylpetanoate. They call one, two, three, four, five. It's a five. So it's called a petanoate. This one, you can see, is a one, two, three, three it means pro, so it's a propyl. One, two, is ethanoate. What is the carbohydrate? Carbohydrate, what is carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is only carbohydrate and oxygen, of course, because of this. We are talking about carbon oxygen hydrogen now. Okay? So monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide, and polysaccharide. What is this? First, what is monosaccharide? Monosaccharide that have general formula of C, um, CH2O and parenthesis M. Um. Okay? So, number. So, yes. And the M um could be a number, any number that is greater than 2. So now we can see um, the number. Uh, six, right? This glucose, galactose, and fructose. The isomers, and you can see, and those those are the uh, hexose. What they mean? They have a the um is six. Uh, okay, and uh, like a bright. So in RNA and uh, the axis ribosome in DNA, which is contain. So we know that the DNA contain a uh, five carbon sugar in a double helix. Okay. What is disaccharide? Disaccharide is two two monosaccharide together and become a disaccharide, and then they form a band called the. Um, Glycosidic band. Okay, what is this? That means that they have O in the middle. So if you put fructose and glucose together, it becomes sucrose. If you put lactose and glucose together, it becomes uh no galactose and glucose together become lactose. If you put um, glucose and glucose together, it will become the maltose. What is oligosaccharide? It's a um, glycoprotein or glycolipid. Okay, so 
that I use for sale recommendations. So I go type A plus and type B plus, type different, or you go separate so that you can know, so you are a cell member and a rebel, so you can, so that's why you can put them together. Type A B plus have both, and type O have nothing, neither. What is polysec, right? So poly, separate. Polysaccharide that means they have a uh, polymer that means they have a chance of repeating things. For example, long carbohydrate molecule of uh, repeat. For example, uh, CXH2O, this is what? So X is a number that usually between 200 and 2500. First one, the starch is what? Starch is a mixture of amylose and amylose. Pectin, okay, so uh, amylose is I have a lot channel has several hundred glucose molecule and amylopro and pectin is a branch molecule made of several thousand glucose units. Charge can be digest, digest, okay, and something called the de Hydro, 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 hydrolysis reaction. Okay, and it has enzyme that can break down those things. Okay, that enzyme. What is glucagon? Glucagon is something that after you eat the leftover, maybe um, sugar or something. Okay. So they turn into galactose and store in your liver. So when and you can use it when you have oh, no energy, and you can use it. And then tell you one things that is wrong.